Practice today coming off of a loss? Uh, yeah, there's definitely a sense of urgency. You know, the team obviously last week didn't pan out how we wanted it to go, but you know, it's just another week to go, another game to play, another chance to go one and up. When you look back at the film, what stood out to you? You guys were able to get a lot of yards, but certainly not able to convert when you needed to. Right, kind of just the common thing has been like just getting in the end zone, you know, especially that first drive. That would have been nice and just. Start off with that defense, start off awesome, obviously first play interception, just gotta just gotta score, just gotta lock in everyone's detail, everybody's assignment, and just get the ball in the end zone by any means necessary. Did it feel good to throw a little bit more? I mean you racked up the yards, something you hadn't done in a while. What, what was that like for you to, you know, get a little more of a yards and, and uh, throw it a little bit more? Right, I mean, obviously you want the win. I mean, but to show at the end that we can we can go down the field and make some plays. Obviously, there's still so much to clean up, but that's just me trusting in my guys and the guys up front giving me time to be able to do such and just making plays going out just playing football. That's it. What do you maybe pinpoint some of the red zone and some of the short yardage issues? Is it a combination of things or is there anything that you guys are looking at and saying, if we get this, then we'll be able to rectify some of that? Right, yeah, it's just it's just on us. Like They didn't stop us at all. It wasn't like there was they had the perfect call for this. Da, da, da. Like, it was just... Which is us just beating ourselves, whether it's an MA or just not doing our job to the fullest. You know, that's when it gets down to the fields, obviously it gets condensed, it's harder to score. That's when we need to hone in on our details and our assignments to just do everything to the fullest and we'll be better with that. I mean, the offense was, you know, just pretty consistent, you know, through that six game winning streak. How do you kind of maybe get that get the guys back to that level you know, after maybe a stumble? Right. Me personally just being me, just being out there just like, you know, the loss has sucked. You know, we Sunday, like, you know, you got to drink the medicine, learn from it, be better from it, and just coming out here and just, like, just give my energy and everything. You know, you don't want to just have everybody moping around. Obviously, people are sad, but at the same time, we have another opportunity ahead. Still, everything that we want to do as a team is on the table, and, you know, just come out and just bring the energy and just keep everyone going and pushing everyone for this week coming up. Have you always been able to maybe be that guy? That just to... Yeah, I mean, when I was younger, I've learned from just old, some older guys, just seeing them, how they go about it, because obviously, you know, after a loss, it sucks, you know, but everything's, everyone's down, you know. People aren't blowing your phone up, congratulations, da 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 like when you see everyone, everyone's smiling, you know. People are banged up, feels a little worse, and just getting getting the juices flowing, getting everyone upbeat just makes all the difference. How do you maintain patience in the sense of, I know you want to push the ball down the field, but if it's just not there, I mean, you have to take what, what is there. Right, I mean, that, yeah, that was my biggest thing growth-wise, especially getting here, which is that's something that just Coach B has been talking to me about, just take what the defense gives you right. And Coach Lonnie, just stay within the confines of the offense. Don't try to do too much. The big plays will come. That's part of the offense. Everything will happen. And, you know, really just trusting in that, trusting in Coach and the plays and the players around only been here for 11 plus months, Tom. This will be your last home game here. Just Can you put into word what your experience has been like in, in a year here? It's flying. It's awesome. I mean, I feel like kind of both. I've been here. I feel like I've been here for so long. It's the guys in the locker room. Like, I feel like I've known me and Reggie talk about it all the time. I feel like I've known Reggie for like five years. And I've, like you said, I met him 11 months ago. That's my brother. At the same time, Tom's flying. I mean, we're here. We're doing. We're doing good things. There's still a lot to be accomplished. There's still time left. So, I'm not trying to think of it in no negative aspect, but definitely, like I've, every time I go on the field, I try to leave everything I have out there. What kind of response did you see today in practice? You know, maybe you know, from your teammates. I thought it was good. Yeah, I thought everything was up. Yeah, I think everyone's focused. Obviously, Sunday, like I said, was it was kind of down, but I think at the same time we knew that we had to come in this week and lock in and focus, and that. We are still the same teams that we were last week. You know, we, we beat ourselves this week, and it's not going to happen again. It's something that we need to continue to focus on, and I think that the energy was good to Are you guys doing anything different schedule-wise or on the field to, to get some of those short yardage things, or that just kind of within the flow? Of practice? Like just anything in schedule-wise or on the field practice-wise this week to address some of those short yardage issues and not being right, able yeah, to Right, yeah, I think we're going to get some more time okay. as the week goes on to do that. Um, but, I mean, really just staying consistent with, with what we do, what our schedule is. I'm sure the coaches will handle that. It's not really us players, but, I mean, just continue to listen to them, trusting them, for us to just go out and field, play football, and do our job to the fullest. You were able to go on that winning streak after the loss in Indiana. Is there anything you guys did back in early September to kind of bounce back that you feel like you're doing now or can repeat you know, this week? Right, it's kind of the same thing. You know, We beat ourselves in Indiana too last time. It was like the same, similar, like sucky feeling. It was just like I couldn't sleep at night, all night, just tossing and turning. Every time I close my eyes, you just see these plays over and over again. It's like, what if I would have did this? What if I would have did that? And, you know, it, it haunts you at night, but at the same time, it makes you better and hungrier for the next week. So really just having these two, that loss then really helped us refocus and really just go about having a great week of practice. And obviously, we're on that little streak, and 
hopefully do the same now, lock in and go into this week and try to go one enough. Do you know that you did do that once already? Does it make you a little bit of confidence? Is like you can get through? Right, definitely confidence. I think this team expects to win every single game that we play. I think that's that's like there's no if ands, or buts about it. So I think that going into this week, you know, with the energy that this team has, I think that's going to be really good. You can help but notice that Nebraska, Isaiah, Fumbles, first person sees is you, and here's is you. Last week, Chase, the same thing. First person sees is you, and here's is you. Is there something that inside you that knows I got to go get him real quick and make sure he's right, because, mentally there? Right, because, I mean, a lot of times, you know, when that happens, you know, I've been in that situation before, too. It's like you cause that, you know, it wasn't – it's like you had the ball in your hands. It's like the team. The, team, the ball is like the, the baby of the team. You know, it's like – it's everybody's trust in you when you fall on the ground. It's just like a big, like it's like a big weight that falls on you. So just to be there, just help them pick them up as soon as possible, to let them know I'm gonna come back to them the very next play, whatever it is, because you know it's happened to me in the past. Whether well, that's on an interception, like a lot of times the coaches will have a quarterback they're still a little short pass just to get their confidence going again. Somebody drops the ball, I'm giving it right back to them just to keep them going. I think that's a big thing, especially for me. If if someone makes a mistake or something happens, you know, just to look them in the eyes, tell them we're good, we got your back, we're always gonna go, we're gonna go make it happen again. So. You guys haven't played from behind very much. You ran two minute there at the end. It obviously didn't work. But how confident are you in playing from behind and coming back and you know winning a game when you need to? Right. Obviously, you don't want to play from behind, but you know it happens. Um, we we practice a lot of situational stuff throughout camp. Spent a lot of time with it. Obviously, we came up short this week. Wish we finished in the end zone. You know there were some chances too. But um, we're going to be better moving forward. We're going to keep looking at the film, learning from it, and get better from it. To help you guys turn the page, knowing that your goals uh, in terms of the division and all that are still in front of you? No doubt. Yeah, especially with this week coming up. You know, this is like a, it's a very big game for us. Obviously, we know that. But, you know, there's no pressure with it. It's just for us to just go out there, play football, and have fun. Just another game, face his opponent. But this one just means a little bit more, especially with senior night. And a lot of, a lot of time, the seniors playing last game. Obviously, I haven't been here long, but a lot of guys like Palcho, I believe this is the second senior game. Third. Third. <laughs> yep. So, I mean, guys like Kyle just have been here so long. Like, this is for sure the last one just to go out and for the young guys, especially to see that and just give everything they have for all the seniors. So those moments in the end of the made you turn the page so quickly the next week and after this? Really just confidence in the team and in, our, in ourselves, just seeing it and knowing that that's not our style of football, that's not us playing out there. It's not that what we're accustomed to and something that we got fixed very quickly and that's what we're going to do.